are back on the channel. Now we are going to recreate the Alpha Centauri system from memory. So, if you, most of you probably don't even know what the Alpha Centauri system is. It's basically the closest solar system to our solar system. There's three stars. I'm only going to do two today and one planet. So let's get going. This is Alpha Centauri A. Um, is there a way we can shorten it up? I know. Alpha Cent A. Okay, let's add a planet. Um, um, it's small. I'm pretty sure it's very small. Okay, I <laughs> know like nothing about the system. How hot is, um, okay. Almost 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, alt, send, A, D. There's also another star which is binary with it. If you, you also probably don't know what binary means. It means it just orbits around each other. But sadly, we can't do that. Because if I make... If I have a binary, and if I have one planet orbit only one of the stars, not two, then it just gets flung out of orbit because of the gravity of the other star also. It's too small. Okay. Um, no, don't make it a bind. Um, okay. It looks like that planet is going to get flung out of orbit. I don't know why it's... Okay. <laughs> Let's make it further. I want to make it, like, far enough that it doesn't pull on the planet. Um, make it smaller. Okay. Launch. This is Alp Send B and let's and it's orange ish. So let's where's orange? Okay. And let's make it a little bit more cooler. Okay, now, wait, um, I, it's, that's, what, I made it too hot. So, it's also raining outside by, well, in the time of this recording, so, yeah, there, okay, now it's, uh, can we land on the planet and see both stars? Oh look, it's getting light from both sides. Can we um, see one of the stars? It doesn't have an atmosphere. Okay, I need to, I need to give it an atmosphere. Or maybe it doesn't have an atmosphere. Because maybe the atmosphere got blasted off by the stars. Let's just add an atmosphere. Because we want to. Okay. And that will be all for this video. And bye-bye.